People are gathering tonight to remember one of the victims of the Planned Parenthood shooting. The visitation service for Kier Stewart is happening right now at Angeles Chapel. That's at 1104 South Circle Drive. It will last until 8 o'clock tonight. We talked with a man who knew Stewart best, his brother. Only on 13, he sat down with KRDO News Channel 13's Heather Skold. Out of tragedy. All units be advised, suspects still in the parking lot, actively shooting uh, vehicles. Out of the unexplainable come the stories of heroism. Those who, at any cost, would try to keep others safe. But his gentleness always overruled. Leonte Chandler is Kier's younger brother. He says homicide detectives told him Kier was likely one of the first shot. At Planned Parenthood with his girlfriend, Kier found out he would be a father for the third time. He stepped outside and shots started. He ran back inside to warn others. And after being shot, I mean, he, he tried to call 911 while he was in the hallway. Kier's protective instincts, Leonte says, were part of his nature. To know that, you know, that was in his heart, not just for me, but even for people that he didn't even know, people that he never met, you know, he had that same love for them, you know, the same care for them. But the lingering question for so many. I don't understand how a soldier can go to war and, and, that, um, and that brigade, that battalion, and, you know, survive that war and come back, you know, in your right mind um, and in one piece with all your limbs. And then you come here to get murdered by somebody you never even met, that you've never even done anything to. I know he can't come back, but it's like you, you just want, you just want one last opportunity to say what, what you didn't get to say. But that opportunity is gone. So. Brother, father, veteran, protector. The real tragedy is what was done because if you change the motive, the tragedy still exists. Unanswered questions while a legacy will not be forgotten.